two more deaths, 351 new COVID cases in Sheboygan County. Voters head to the polls and the Sheboygan Board of Education passes budget. These are the headlines for Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. Those stories and more are just ahead on Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. Good day, I'm Scott Maloff, and we begin with the election. The polls opened at seven this morning for the 2020 general election. In addition to making a choice in the presidential race, Sheboygan County residents will choose between Republican Glenn Grothman or Democrat Jessica King for the District 6 congressional seat. The District 26 assembly seat is up for re-election and incumbent Terry Katzma of Oostburg is being challenged by Democrat Mary Lynn Donahue. Republican Representative Tyler Vorpagel is unopposed for the District 27 assembly seat. The Sheboygan County District Attorney, County Clerk, Treasurer, and Register of Deeds are all running unopposed. There is one referendum in the county. The Town of Sherman asks voters if recreational vehicles may be used on all town roads. The polls close at 8 tonight. If you are not sure where you should vote, you can visit myvote.wi.gov. The lines at the polls could be long at times today, even though many chose to vote early, especially with the coronavirus in play. Wisconsin is among the states that saw record early voting turnout this year. The Wisconsin Election Commission Monday said nearly 1.9 million people voted early or absentee this year. That's nearly two thirds of all registered voters in the state. But not everyone who registered an absentee ballot has returned it yet. The Elections Commission says there are nearly 175,000 outstanding absentee ballots in the state. Those may be returned to your polling place prior to 8 p.m. today. Anyone in line to vote when the polls close will be allowed to vote. It will likely be some time before all of the votes in Wisconsin are counted. The Wisconsin Election Commission says people need to have patience with local election managers. Some communities will have their votes counted not long after the polls close at 8 o'clock. Others, most notably Milwaukee, will need a few more hours to process and count their absentee ballots. The expectation is that all of the votes will be counted by early Wednesday morning. The Wisconsin Election Commission has until December to certify the official vote count. Two individuals, both in their 60s, were added to the COVID-19 casualty numbers in Sheboygan County over the weekend, as another 351 new positive test returns were received since the County Division of Public Health reported on Friday afternoon. 43.5% of tests returned in that same period were positive for COVID-19. And with 163 recoveries, the active case count here rose by 188 to 1,857. Of those, a new high of 37 are hospitalized. Deaths due to COVID-19 in Sheboygan County have now been recorded in one person in their 30s, one in their 40s, three in their 50s, six in their 60s, nine in their 70s, and by 11 that were 80 or older. Wisconsin added another 12,204 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the last three days, with 3,433 of those recorded in the last 24 hours. A total of 232,295 Wisconsinites have so far tested positive for COVID-19 since the beginning of the pandemic. Given that 8,846 test results were received in all in the last 24 hours, the positive return rate Monday was 38.8%. There are now 48,366 active cases of COVID-19 in Wisconsin. Five more deaths were recorded since Sunday, raising the death toll to 2,050. The Wisconsin Hospital Association reported Monday that another 100 persons entered hospitals for treatment of COVID-19 since Sunday 
bringing the state's current COVID-19 population to 1,648. 352 of those were in the ICU, and 13 patients are being treated at the alternate care facility at State Fair Park in West Dallas. Another 352 patients were awaiting their test results, and 527 persons required ventilation to sustain life. Here in the Southeast Wisconsin region, 90% of all available beds are occupied. Community testing in Sheboygan County for COVID-19, conducted by the Wisconsin National Guard, has collected nearly 1,700 specimens since it began on October 14th. Regular community testing is now being conducted at the Sheboygan County Aging and Disability Resource Center at 650 Forest Avenue in Sheboygan Falls each Wednesday and Friday from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. Testing is free for anyone who suspects they may have COVID-19 or who have been in close contact with a known positive case. Testing has been a major part of National Guard efforts in the COVID-19 battle with over 747,000 specimens collected in Wisconsin as of Monday. But that's only part of the operation to track and control the spread of the coronavirus in the state. All those test results need to be reported back to the patient, and about 30 troops working at a call center have so far placed over half a million calls. The Sheboygan Area School District's Board of Education passed the 2020-2021 budget following a public hearing last Thursday. The total budget was about $152.6 million and resulted in property tax levy of almost $37 million. While the district's local levy increased by 1.5%, the tax rate went down nearly 7.7%. Over $3.3 million of that tax levy will fund the state private school voucher program and will be deducted from the state aid received by the district. Drivers using I-43 near the Manitowoc Sheboygan County line can expect to encounter work crews today and tomorrow as pavement repair is done on both the north and southbound lanes. The left lane in each direction will be closed both days between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. Drivers are asked to be especially cautious when driving through work zones protect the safety of the work crews. And finally, there's a reason it's called fall, considering that leaves have mostly fallen from trees and now all those leaves have to go somewhere. In Sheboygan, that's as easy as raking them into a curbside pile, but most other places in the county require that you collect them and drop them off at a recycling site. The city of Sheboygan has been divided into five leaf collection zones, one for each day of the week and that will continue through Friday, November 20th. And if you miss your collection day, you can always leave your leaves at the drop-off site on New Jersey Avenue between the hours of 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. on Saturday. You may find your leaf collection zone at SheboyganDPW.com. That's all for this edition. Tune in next time for a recap of local stories on community news review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.